It's Paul Colligan for Apps and Tools Thursday. I want to tell you about a real time-saving uh, strategic app and, and really information gathering process they might want to consider. The app is called Instapaper. It's available on the iPad, the iPhone, the iPod. It actually works really great on the iPad, but the iPhone version is, is fabulous as well. What it does, have you ever been on the web and found an article of great depth and of great length that you need to kind of read later or you wish the distractions were away from or you kind of want to file away for what's next, uh, you know you run into these things all the time. What Instapaper does is it gives you a, a special bookmark that you add to your browser. You can add this to your iPhone browser, you can add this to your you know, regular desktop browser. Um, you can even have a special email address that you can send these things to. And what Instapaper does is Instapaper takes that content, um, strips out all the, uh, the, the formatting and the flashing banners and the ads and that kind of stuff and presents the content uh, really simple, really cleanly, really crisply uh, through the Instapaper product. And uh, you can view that again on your iPad, your iPhone, or whatnot at a later date. Uh, it takes everything that you've sent to it, syncs it up, makes it really easy to read. You can then mark it up. Um, you can share it with others. It has a real social element to it. Why would you want to use this? Well, you know, at different times of the day, you're able to consume different pieces of content at different speeds. You know, a quick email that asks a question, I could take that right now. You know, a tweet with a piece of information or a piece of news that I got to digest, I can take that right now. But when somebody out there writes a really insightful, you know, in depth, uh, thoughtful blog post or article that I need to spend some time thinking about, I want to read that later. And I click the button and send it to Instapaper. The one thing I forgot to add, actually, Instapaper has a whole Kindle element as well. If you want to read that good stuff on the web through something beautiful like the Kindle format. Um, Instapaper, take a look at it and uh, consider you know, getting all of the long form stuff that you find on the web formatted for Instapaper so you can read it later and make sense of it. It's Paul Colligan, Apps and Tools Thursday.